I wanted to answer one simple question. Is it really possible for someone who can't code to build a polished working app? So I ran an experiment and this is the result. This is the very first app I've ever built in my entire life and I didn't write a single line of code. I used a process called vibe coding with an AI app builder called Base44, which proves that the barrier to creating something real isn't what it used to be. So in this video, I'm not just gonna show you that this works. I'm gonna give you the step-by-step -step playbook that I use to get this exact result. And by the end, you'll have the process, the tools, and the proof that the only thing left for you to do is start building. Now, before we dive in, I should mention that Base44 is sponsoring today's video. But here's the thing, I only work with tools I actually believe in. And after you see what I built, you'll understand why. Now, before I even touched Base44, I did something that most people completely skip. And this one step is the difference between getting amateur results and getting something that looks like Apple built it. First, I needed to figure out exactly what I wanted to build. I wanted to create a daily achievements app to keep people motivated, something where they could log their daily wins and accomplishments to see how far they've come over time. So I went to ChatGPT and spent five minutes creating a detailed requirements document. And based on my prompt, it generated a five page document that covered every detail I could think of. Look at this. I've got the target users defined, the design vision, the exact color palette with hex codes, the specific user experience flows, even accessibility requirements. This isn't just a list of features. This is a blueprint for exactly what I wanted to build. Here's why this matters. When you say to AI, build me an app, you're basically saying, surprise me. But when you give it a document like this, you're saying, build me this specific vision. The difference in results is absolutely night and day. So after five minutes of planning, I had my blueprint. Now it was time to see if Base44 could actually build it. All right, so then we head over to Base44's homepage and click on start building to get started. Let's see what happens when I paste this entire document generated from ChatGPT into Base44. I simply said, I wanna build this daily diary app that is Apple quality design. Here are my requirements. And then I pasted the entire text in there. Base44 then reads through everything and comes back with its plan. Look at this. It understood the design philosophy, the color palette, the navigation structure, even the emotional aspects of the user experience. Now, just an FYI that Base44 starts out completely free so you can test it out and their paid plans start at $20 a month. For this entire build using about 52 prompts, I spent roughly $10 worth of credits, less than the cost of lunch. And if you wanted to try this out yourself, we've got you covered. Use my code ENIVER10 for 10 bonus credits on Base44. That's enough to get you started on your first app right away. All right, and just like that, we have our first version. Look what it generated in two minutes. This isn't some basic form with a submit button. I've got multiple pages. I've got navigation, a calendar view, a settings page, photo upload functionality. In two minutes, Base44 built something that would take a traditional developer days to set up. Now this is a good start, but what you just saw, that was just the beginning. What happened next completely changed how I think about building apps. The first thing I did was actually try to use the app. I logged my first achievement of the day, felt pretty good about it, and then tried to add another one. And that's when I discovered the first problem. After inputting my first achievement, I couldn't log another one on the same day. The form just disappeared. Plus there was no way to delete an entry if I made a mistake. So I went back to base 44 with this prompt. After inputting my first achievement of the day, I'm not able to add additional achievements. Please fix this issue and also allow the user to delete achievements as well. And watch this. In seconds, it restructured the entire today page to handle multiple achievements and added delete functionality. I was shocked at how well it actually followed my instructions. But what happened next made me realize I wasn't just working with a tool. I was collaborating with something much more intelligent. Next, I decided that the navigation needed to change. I wanted a sidebar on the left, plus I wanted a stats page to track progress over time. So I give it another prompt and Base44 goes to work creating the new navigation and building out the stats page. But then something incredible happened. Base44 came back and said, some errors have been detected and Base44 will try to fix them automatically. It had used a fire icon that it didn't have in its icon library, detected the error itself, and told me its plan to fix it with a flame icon. Think about this for a second. The AI built something, found its own mistake, diagnosed the problem, proposed a solution, and implemented the fix. I didn't even know there was an error. Base44 caught and corrected its own work. This honestly blew my mind. I wasn't just collaborating with a code generator. I was working with something that could actually debug itself. But if I thought that was impressive, then what came next was about to completely reshape my entire app. 
Now I wanted to get into the details. The mood selector said, how was your day? But that felt pretty generic. I wanted something more specific to achievements. So I asked Base44 to change it to, how does it make you feel? Add specific emotions, excited, proud, grateful, accomplished, peaceful, each with its own emoticon. So it followed my instructions and updated the mood selector. But then I realized that the today page needed more functionality. I wanted to see achievements from other days, not just today. So I gave it another prompt to make those changes. And two minutes later, I could now navigate to any day, see past achievements, and even add achievements for previous days. Base44 didn't just add a date picker, it rebuilt the entire page logic to handle historical data. This back and forth dialing in the exact look and feel is the core of what vibe coding is. It's not about writing code, it's about articulating your vision with natural language and iterating until it's perfect. Next, I tackled something that was bugging me. The header felt way too busy. Instead of just showing yesterday's achievements or whichever day I was viewing, I wanted it to say, good morning, Alicia, and ask what amazing thing did you accomplish for today? Something more personal and encouraging. So I gave it a prompt to make that change and look at the transformation. It went from functional to actually welcoming and motivating. But then I made a crucial user experience decision. The achievement form where you're actually supposed to input the achievements was cluttering up my main page. I wanted it on a dedicated page for a cleaner experience. So I asked Base44 to create a separate page for the actual form and watch what happened. Base44 didn't just move the form. It created an entirely new page, rewired the navigation, and built a smooth transition between the call to action and the actual logging experience. At this point, I was feeling pretty confident, but then I made one simple request that sent me down a rabbit hole I wasn't expecting. At this point, the app was looking great, but I wanted to add dark mode. How hard could it be, right? So I gave it a prompt and Base44 added dark mode functionality, but when I actually tested it, I discovered a problem. The headings were barely visible, there were white boxes everywhere, and some text was completely unreadable. So I went back to base 44. And what followed was probably about 10 iterations. Make the headings white, fix the white boxes. The text is still not visible. Each time I would send screenshots of exactly what was wrong. And here's what I learned. AI needs specific feedback. It's not enough to say, fix dark mode. You need to show it exactly what's broken and what good actually looks like. But the persistence paid off. Look at the final result. Every element perfectly adapted for dark mode. This taught me that building with AI isn't magic. It's collaborative problem solving. But just when I thought I had everything figured out, I was about to learn a lesson that changed my entire approach to design. Now for the moment that I realized I'd been doing everything backwards. I asked Base44 to make the app responsive to phones and tablets. It did a decent job, but then when I switched to mobile view, I realized I had an issue. I had been designing for desktop first and then trying to adapt it for mobile. The navigation felt cramped, the spacing was off, and I ended up having to move the menu to the bottom of the screen for mobile. This taught me a crucial lesson that will save you hours. You may find it faster to start with mobile first and then expand to larger screens. It's so much easier to add space than to remove it. But look at the final result. Clean mobile navigation, perfect spacing, and it works beautifully on any device. Now here's the crazy part. Everything that you just saw, from the initial requirements document to this final polished app, took me about three total hours spread across a weekend. Keep in mind that I'd never used Base44 before, so you could probably do this even faster. That's pretty amazing considering this would have taken months for a developer to code from scratch and you'd have to pay them thousands of dollars to do it. Okay, so you just saw how a real AI development session works. And after dozens of iterations, I figured out what was getting me the best results. So here are three key strategies that I recommend to give you the best experience during your build. The first strategy is to treat AI like the most literal person you've ever met. So you need to be extremely clear about what changes you actually wanna make. So for example, if you just said make the app look better, you're asking AI to use its judgment as to what better is. You might get random color changes, unclear improvements, etc. So instead, I get the best results when I say something like this. The more specific you are, the less room there is for AI to guess wrong. The second strategy is to show and not just tell. This trick alone will save you hours of back and forth. Throughout the entire process of building this app, I was constantly giving it screenshots of what worked well and what didn't. When you can point at something and say, make it look like this or fix this exact thing, the AI has perfect context. It's like having a designer sitting right next to you. 
And rule number three is to build like you're stacking Lego blocks. So not trying to build a masterpiece in one shot. Look at my actual process. I didn't try to fix everything in one prompt. I said, fix the multiple achievements issue, then add sidebar navigation, then improve the mood selector, then add dark mode, make it responsive. Each prompt built on the last one. So if something broke, I knew exactly what change caused it. This isn't just faster, it's actually more reliable than trying to do everything at once. So for the best results, I wouldn't try to change more than two or three things in one prompt. I know this can be tempting to not use as many credits, but what I found was that the fewer things I gave it to change, the better it actually did at changing the things I asked it to do. Master these three strategies and you'll be shocked at what you can build. But here's the real question that everyone's asking. Do you really need to be able to code to build something this good? Here's the truth. I'm living proof that you don't need to know how to code, but you do need to understand what you're building. Think about it like this. Anyone can use Google Translate to communicate in a foreign language. You'll get your point across and people will understand you, but if you actually speak the language, you can have more nuanced conversation, you can crack jokes and express exactly what you mean. AI coding tools are the same. If you don't understand the basics of how apps work, you'll get something functional. But if you understand the user experience, design principles, and how different features connect together, you can guide the AI to create something truly special. The barriers to creating something real have never been lower. What used to take months of learning programming languages now takes a good blueprint, clear communication, and persistence to iterate. So the tools are here, the process works, the only question left is what are you gonna build? If you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button, it really helps the channel. And if you wanna learn more about how you can use AI every day, then click this next video.